Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Anthony Phillips Van Leeuwenhoek, October 24, 1632 to August 26, 1723, was a Dutch businessman, scientist, and one of the notable representatives of the golden age of Dutch science and technology. A largely self-taught man in science, he is commonly known as the father of microbiology, and often considered to be the first acknowledged microscopist and microbiologist. Van Leeuwenhoek is best known for his pioneering work in the field of microscopy and for his contributions toward the establishment of microbiology as a scientific discipline. Raised in Delft in the Dutch Republic, Van Leeuwenhoek worked as a draper in his youth, and founded his own shop in 1654. He became well recognized in municipal politics and eventually, developed an interest in lens making. Using his handcrafted microscopes, he was the first to observe and describe microorganisms, which he originally referred to as animalcules, from the Latin animalculum, tiny animal. His 1670s discovery and study of the hitherto unknown microscopic world, or microbial life, is also considered one of the most notable achievements of the golden age of Dutch exploration and discovery, circa 1590s to 1720s similar to the Dutch discovery and mapping of largely unknown land masses and far southern skies during the age of exploration. Most of the animalcules are now referred to as unicellular organisms, although he observed multicellular organisms in pond water. He was also the first to document microscopic observations of muscle fibers, bacteria, spermatozoa, and blood flow in capillaries. Van Leeuwenhoek did not write any books. His discoveries came to light through correspondence with the Royal Society, which published his letters. By the end of his life, Van Leeuwenhoek had written approximately 560 letters to the Royal Society and other scientific institutions concerning his observations and discoveries. Even during the last weeks of his life, Van Leeuwenhoek continued to send letters full of observations to London. The last few contained a precise description of his own illness. He suffered from a rare disease, an uncontrolled movement of the midriff, which is now known as Van Leeuwenhoek's disease. He died at the age of 90, on August 26, 1723, and was buried four days later in the Oudkirk in Delft. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.